So today you're gonna hang with me while I do some errands and some cleaning. But first, I need some coffee. <laughs> can't tell I'm really enjoying my deck. I'm on my way to Arizona and I'm taking it easy, stopping along the way. I do want to find a place where I can vacuum out my van because it has a lot of sand in it. <laughs> You may have noticed a little difference in the way that I prepared my coffee this morning and that is because Javi reached out to me to do a review of their coffee about a month ago and I get offers like that but I usually say no I think because this was coffee and I love coffee and I'm always looking for something unique and that will make my life easier I decided to give it a try and I'm really glad that I did I have enjoyed coffee from all around the world and so I consider myself a little bit of a snob when it comes to that and I also really love the coffee routine and everything that goes with it, the taste, the smell. And so I wasn't sure if I would enjoy a product like this even though it promised to make my life easier and no mess and all of that, but I really have enjoyed it. and. It is really good tasting coffee. It is rich, it is bold, it is flavorful, and that is hard to do, I feel, with a concentrate. So kudos to you, Javi, for doing it right. I have seen things like this in Latin America, actually, where they will put a concentrate on the table and you will just add hot water so that you can have it throughout the day and I have seen it at juice bars and coffee bars where they'll have a concentrate in the refrigerator when they make cold coffee but this is a micro dose concentration I don't know what's different about it but it is really good then I came to find out that they actually source their beans from small organic farmers and it's fair trade coffee so the more I got to know the company the more I liked it and the more that I have tried it in different ways the more I really like it and they have different flavors this is just the normal 100% Arabica coffee concentrate. It's really easy to prepare too. All it takes is one or two teaspoons of the concentrate to six to eight ounces of whatever liquid you want, hot or cold, and that's it. I love it when I am on the road especially. I don't want to necessarily get out my pour over funnel and use that because that takes drying in between so that I can pound out the grounds a little bit for the garbage. And so this is nice because there is nothing that I have to clean up and it stores really easily. 
you saw me I just have a new place for it over there and it's little and convenient so that ticks all of my boxes for something that I would recommend. They did give me a code LADYBUGOUT15, so your first order will be 15% off because of that, and I get a little kickback, so that will be a win-win, I hope. And I hope you enjoy the coffee because I really have. I actually, more than I thought that I would. So I hope you enjoy it too. Five thumbs up if I had five thumbs. Since I was recently at the beach, things have gotten a little out of hand, a little sandy, not as bad as when I was at gutted, but I just feel the need to clean things out and it's due for one anyway. So I'm just using my little hydrogen peroxide mix and my Norwex towel to get that out. But I also have some fun things to show you. This is a new pant. So this is my, let's see, it's got sand in it too. This is my normal cooking pan. I like it because the handle folds in to be able to fit in there. It's very convenient to have. Then I recently ordered another one because I was looking for a little bit bigger skillet and this one's a little bit older so I thought it's about time but it had to have either a foldable or retractable or take offable handle. You attach it like this and it's on. I tried to make pizza on this pan and it worked great, but the bottom got a little burnt. So I bought one of these cooling racks to use as something that you can put down on the bottom of the pan to create a little bit of height so that it won't burn on the bottom. So I'm gonna try that. It also fits in this one. It will be a little bit higher in this one because it doesn't quite go down all the way. So if I ever needed something to toast, I guess I could do that. So I was very happy with that. Another little project that I want to do is to take this bowl that I use. I use it for everything really, but mostly for salads to mix vegetables up and things like that. And it fits very perfectly over this pan. And I have come to find out that it also works well with this one. So rather than getting a cover for both pots, I thought I would just take this because I like that it creates a walk, that it's more of a dome than a flat lid. And I got a pop grip. I guess they're called a pop socket. And I like it because it was a wood grain that matches my new wood grain on my handle. And all I need to do is, rather than put it on an iPhone, I'm going to put it on my bowl, like that. And that way I can still use it as a salad bowl because it'll be flat when it's down like this. And then when I use it for a cover, I just have to pop it up and it'll be a little cover for my pots and pans. I don't know if it will last over time. I know that it has to be somewhat heat resistant because it's gonna be on the back of a phone, which can get rather hot and still stick. So we'll see. It should be fairly straightforward. I'm gonna clean the bottom of this a little bit. Make sure that it's centered. So I will just leave that dry now before I use it because I think it needs to stick on there really well and it can be used like that. So I'll let you know how it goes if it lasts. This is what the inside of my cabinets look like. I had this as a placemat at one point and I just put it here in case I ever get 
any unwelcome guests here. I have a little reflectix and I've also taped this down so that it is harder for anything to get in through the back. And then I had this non-slip grip stuff, but then I will be able to put this here and this, which I think I showed you before. It is something my daughter gave me for Christmas that has a lid that stays on this way and it's a bowl. So it doubles as both a bowl and storage. So this is what it looks like for a bowl. And then it has a lid in case you need to save something overnight or for a few hours and you don't want it to get any bacteria in it. And I usually put this inside of this one, my salad bowl, put in here. And this goes like this. And then this pan goes on this. And then my tea kettle goes on top. And my little spittoon bowl and my pour over coffee filter goes in there as well. Like this. And I put this in between so that it doesn't clank around at all when I am moving down the road. So that is how everything fits. I am also looking for a new kettle. I have had this thing for two years, over two years, and so I need to just get a new one. It's showing its wear and tear and it's not as pretty anymore. So I decided to move it from the upper cabinet to the lower one because everything fits together quite nicely that way. And these containers that have always been on the bottom, I am going to put underneath here. It's not an easy access place, but it, this is more storage. And then what I do, it actually lets me have three times as much as I usually do in here. And I use this container for the packs that I'm going to have readily accessible and I just switch them out. And that way a lot more fits in my cabinet up here. All of this stuff fits in there. So I have apple cider vinegar, I have some teas, mustard, some creamers, oils. Uh, I have collagen that I take regularly. All of these will fit in there. This is a picture that we took at Schooly Palooza. The gang's all there. Look at how sandy everything is. My little 12 volt vacuum. than it was. I 
really not a bad view for a pullover. So I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me and drinking some good coffee. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.